Is the melanin on? Are we in this thing? Yes, we are. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous, darling. I am doing well. Make sure to go ahead and thumbs up this video. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make sure to follow me on my social media, at Miss TP90, and I'm gonna need you to turn those notifications on so you know when the content is coming. And if you missed any of my latest videos, I'm gonna post them down below. I got some good stuff down below. I got an untitled foolery that's out. I have a fit and fab, the latest edition child. You don't want to miss that one. That's it. Ooh, that's a good one. That that's a real, real good one. I'm gonna need you to check that out. And my latest Real Housewives of Atlanta review. You see the title correctly. This is it. And this is the last escape. Stand kicking it. This is episode number four. It was it. It was like a little mini series that I thumb Bravo was like, nah, we only giving y'all four episodes. We're gonna see how you like this. We're gonna get your feet wet. I have to say, I've really, really enjoyed still kicking it. Down below in the comment section, if you've enjoyed it, let me know. How did you enjoy the series? Do you think they should bring it back? Let's talk about it. Are you seeing Escape, Monica, and Tamar on tour? Are you gonna go see them? Like, comment down below. Have you seen them already? What did you think? Let's talk about this down below. But this is the last episode. So, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about it. I've enjoyed doing the reviews and my lip syncs, honey. Like, I have been lip syncing for my life, honey. And I've been enjoying it. So, I think I'm gonna start bringing that into my reviews. Like, lip syncing random songs. If you like the lip sync for your life, honey, comment down below. And I'll probably bring it back in my Real Housewives and Love and Hip Hop reviews because it's just token. So, let me know what you would like for me to lip sync for my life with. Comment down below. We open up with a rehearsal for My Little Secret. And I keep forgetting that Candy has this high note in the song. I just gotta let y'all know I have musical Tourette's. Um, whenever I'm listening to music in my car or just listening to it in general, like I skip songs and I'm like, no, I wanna hear this one next. No, this is my part, no. Let's fast forward to that one. So I always skip over that high note. But now when I listen to Escapes music, I listen to it all the way through and I cannot help but chuckle at the high note because she's mentally preparing herself for this high note. It's like you saw her during rehearsal. She was like, hold up, my note coming. It's coming. Wait, wait, wait. This coming. After their rehearsals, they have a powwow about the BET Awards. And I mean, everybody like, we killed that shit. You know, Candy said it like, we killed that shit. But Tamika was like, yeah, but I got a little critique. So everybody sit down. Tasha, my sister, I love you. Your mic was loud, girl. I mean, like all your runs. We heard them crystal clear and the audience did too. Child, even people who weren't even watching the show could hear it, honey. It, it, it was loud. Tasha was like, oh, it was. Oh, okay then, shit, oh, okay. Candy baby cakes, you out of breath. When you came in with every man, so, <laughs> like, we didn't need to, <laughs> like, you were out of breath, sister. You were out of, <laughs> you were out of breath. And it was like, oh, I was, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I was a little, oh, okay. Tamika, tiny girl, you killed that shit, Baba. Like, we had, we gave you that, bro. Wow. And you know what? I so agree with Tamika. Go back to my BET Awards review. I felt the exact same. Candy still has her reservations about everything. And they're all looking at her like, pumpkin, like, snickerdoodle, um, white chocolate macadamia. Like, what do you want us to do? Like, what else do you need, pumpkin? Like, the tour is about to be booked. Candy and Tiny, they're leaving rehearsal. And Candy was like, so what did Tip think about the performance? Tiny was like, well, Tip said he didn't watch it. I was like, what? Like, he ain't even seen on YouTube, he ain't on Instagram, he ain't seen nothing. Tip, I'm disappointed. We were rooting for you, and I am highly disappointed in you, sir. Clifford! I felt that when Tiny was like, and it was my first performance in 18 years. You know, that really sucks. You know, when you've been supporting somebody and they dream for so long, and then when you go out and spread your wings and do your thing, he ain't nowhere to be found. And I'm glad that Tip got himself together and he's now being supportive and hopefully they're making it last forever, keep sweat because I love their little family. But everybody goes through their own little situations and their relationships. It's time for rehearsal again. My name is Peaches and I'm the best out of DJ's life that fill my chest. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, Michael Malden comes through to see the ladies. I'm sitting here like, he look a little crooked. Who is this? I remember we saw him on The Unsung, uh-huh. And he was their ex-manager, AKA Jermaine Dupri's father. Tamika even said in her little rumor lie mill that she was telling on Candy that Candy was humpsing up bump with the daddy too. I was like, ew. Ooh. So Tasha's whole face just turned into, oh, hell no. They do the confession. And come to find out, Tasha was really supposed to 
get her own solo deal. They gave her 300,000. She really didn't get in the studio like that. They had a bunch of expenses that came out of that 300,000. So she had to end up paying that back. There was no intervention with Michael in the record label. Jermaine done went to another label and she was just left to pay all that money back. I was like, now nah, that's fucked up. Basically, Michael Malden came through because he saw a cash cow, AKA Escape coming back. Everybody want to see that. Um, groups reuniting is on the rise and he want a piece of that pie because he know the girls and he knew he could come on in there. Isn't it funny when things happen with people, both parties feel a different type of way. Like Tasha held that in for so long. Michael sitting here, ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. People go through that every single day. You got people walking around doing spins and Michael Jackson moves and you sitting here harboring all that stuff. That's not healthy. That's not good. But we all do it. Andy ends up leaving because she thinks that Michael and Tasha need to, you know, make it last forever, keep sweat, figure that out. Tamika was like, no, I'm gonna stay here with my sister, have her back. I was like, that's good, girl. H hold her down. She need that support. Candy, where your ass going? Like, what, 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 what? Okay then. Tasha ended up telling Michael exactly what happened. She was like, look, I had to deal all these expenses. I didn't even go into the studio and I had to end up paying that stuff back. Like that wasn't fair and you didn't even look out for me. Child, Michael is really oblivious to everything that happened. He's sitting there like, that did happen, really? Michael finally said, you know what? You're right, I didn't reach out. I'm sorry, I apologize. Uh, let's get this work. How can I come on in here? You know, I'm promoting. I was like, boo, what kind of apology is that? He glazed right over that thing like a Krispy Kreme donut, honey. I loved it when Tasha finally said, so what you looking for? Why you here? He had to run down his resume. Well, I've been doing all uh, so-and-so. I've been making jelly sandwiches for about 15 years now. And you know, the way I make the jelly sandwiches, it's not as, you know, jellied as everybody else. It's like I smooth it right on the bread. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good now, y'all. They were like, oh, okay, got it. Sure. Yeah. No thanks. You know what? I do agree with Tasha. That apology was not believable. I feel like he was just coming in just to key key and get his check. I totally agreed with the comparison between Tamika and Candy with the apology. You really can't tell somebody, you better believe them, like, move forward. You can't do it until the shoe is on your foot. We're all human. Tasha, you're human. I mean, that's something that you had to deal with for a long time, but you ended up telling Michael how you feel you ain't got to work with his ass no more everybody's situation is different and how you deal with forgiveness and moving forward it's just a breakthrough that happens with that in my opinion and i'm glad that tasha did that time for the essence fest um the sisters go to ocean's wedding tamika's daughter's wedding and tiny and candy are on their way to uh new orleans that's amazing out of all this time that they've been a group they never got to headline like they were getting real real hot and then they broke up. So they never got to headline their own tour. They were always singing in the background. Candy ended up telling Aunt Tiny, you know what? I think her apology was so she could benefit financially. Uh -huh. and Candy said it herself. You know what? I'm the type. If one thing happened, I'm gone. Like if any bullshit is on this tour, I'm out of here, dog. I really hope that during this whole thing, it's really taught Candy and all the girls about themselves and things that they can work on. Because, you know, just running and moving, I mean, that's not going to help anything. You got to attack issues head on. And that's something that I've been doing, too. So I think that's important that they've been showing these different issues on this show. And, you know, how you resolve conflict, even if you grown ass people it takes a lot to resolve conflict Tasha is not budging about Michael I halfway don't blame her with Michael's ass he seemed like a slime ball to me they get to the super lounge to rehearse and child you know how you go to like a state fair or a folk festival or something and they got the little stage that's what it looked like uh but it could hold 4,000 people I'm like where I'm technically I've never been there so I don't know but uh it looked a little small to me just this little bit it was packed like sardines up in that bitch I remember being on Instagram during that time and and because I was excited, you know, that Escape was coming back. And child, it was packed like sardines in there. People couldn't get in there. Like, they had to push people away. It was crazy. And I'm sitting here like, you know, good damn well. More than 4,000 people wanting to see Escape. Uh-oh. During the rehearsal, they said they couldn't hear themselves. So that was only recipe for disaster. That actually makes sense now that I went back and saw them on YouTube during that performance. Because I was like, they kept touching their ears and the sound kept going in and out. But it was a really good performance. And I'm glad that they pulled it together. But they sounded good, though. Oh, my. God, the next day was the Detroit show. I said, what the hell, Jimmy? You better go ahead and get these cards. Candy and Tamika meet up, and I was like, honey, the glow up is real, child. Glow 
up, Candy, glow up. Well, it was so sad because so much time has passed between the ladies and so many memories have passed, weddings, anniversaries, uh, weave, like so much has happened, so many memories. And you know, hopefully they can build new memories, but it was just sad because it was like, shit, 18 years has passed. That was a good analogy, Candy. She was like, honey, no, we uh, didn't have a separation. We had a divorce, honey. My divorce? And I took all my stuff and I left. I was like, you know, that's true, Candy. I mean, she took all her stuff. Her glow up was real. She was like, yeah, but we dating. We, we, I mean, we just talking, no. Actually, they not dating, they just talking. It's a situation shit right now. They ain't even dating. You can still tell that Candy ain't fucking with Tamika. You can tell, like, even her body language is like, don't even touch me, girl. Even when she hug her, it's like a little pitter-pat church hug. And even Tamika was looking like, damn, I really messed this up. You don't have to lick her ass, but, I mean, you gotta make it up. You gotta make this right, girl. Prepping for the stage, and Candy and Tiny are talking. Tiny was looking like, so you get ready to make your decision? Like what you gonna do? Like I don't wanna pressure you though, but like time is ticking. Like we gotta sign. We what you uh, what you doing? And he was like, you know what? People just wanna see like one good go round, and that's about it. I'm actually looking at it like that's that's kind of true. We just want a reunion tour. We'll see what y'all gonna do. We're just happy you're together. We want y'all to stay together. I was hollering at Tiny. She was like, yeah, we want like an international tour. Like I wanna go all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't been doing shit. Like we we need this dog. And it was like. Oh, Okay, we might go around the world and I, I, I don't know though. No, it's time for them to go on stage and tip. He brings the kids and himself in an eight piece suit. I said, all right now, you better come through tip. You're getting your points back slowly. But surely, it's like we give you points and then you want us to take them away. I need you to be consistent, sir. Oh my God, the glow up with Escape. Like the glow, I loved how they did the baggy clothes and how they have outfit changes now because they felt like used to, they couldn't do that. Y'all better glow up. Y'all are grown ass women. Do exactly what you want to do on that stage, honey. We just want to hear the, oh, the voice, the voices. I'm sorry, y'all, but when Candy hits that note, uh, my little secret, like she is prepping for it. She's like, hold on, my note is coming. Like she is so still. So glad they brought up Karen Clark Sheard. And when Karen did that, <laughs> when she did the note where she took the mic and put it all over the place, Tiny was like, oh shit, like <laughs> the way that they were looking at her. But um, I'm just mad that Karen Clark Sheard just shat on everybody, like the whole stage, even the instruments. Like it was, everybody was like, huh? Then uh, Tamika turned it into a revival. She needed to ask for forgiveness from Candy Hunter. She said, let me tell all 3,000 some odd people that I I'm sorry. Even Candy was like, okay. She was trying to be hard though. She was trying to be Debo. But then she was like, it's a, uh, I love you too. <laughs> they ended up hugging and I was like, yes. Like I saw a promise. I saw things that were gonna happen. But you know how Bravo does like the little cue card at the end about what had happened was? Escape is going on a 28 city tour. I was like, yes, yes. And after that, it was like Tiny, Latasha, and Tamika are doing music. And I was like, wait, where, where Candy? little name at then after that it was like candy decided not to i was like i thought it was going great you know what it's fine it's it's fine i haven't heard the new song I'm trying to give all of them the benefit of the doubt maybe she's not ready okay maybe she said hold up i said a tour old music not new music I'm trying not to jump to conclusions you have to take baby toddler um newborn preemie steps with candy okay preemie steps with candy down below in the comment section i would love to know what did you think about this season any season of still kicking it would you like to see another season it is let's talk about this down below in the comment section thank y'all so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you on the next video peace love and all that good stuff god bless bye